Everybody say they started from the bottom. Show me the bottom then. Show me where you started from. So then what the bottom look like for me. I remember getting laughed at. Now this shit ain't funny no more. It's crazy how life works. channel if you are new thank you for watching welcome 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 i hope i give you a warm welcome to my channel um please like and subscribe to this video i'll be twisting and turning my chair too much i need to stop but let me get right into it so today we are going to be talking about my personal hair care journey and then my hair growth journey i want to say hair care i kind of mean like my transition or like just me Cause I really say when I start taking care of my natural hair, you know what I'm saying? So it's really, it's, it is a journey. Definitely it's a journey, but it's just like, it's time to take care of your hair. You know what I'm saying? So I first want to start by saying that you are unique. Your hair is unique. Like you are not like anybody else on this planet. So you just always have to know that. Remember that? Um, Just when it comes to really everything in your life and especially like your hair. Y'all know what today is? It's sound care, sound care, sound on Sunday and self care Sunday. So today I'm not doing anything. Like right now, what just popped in my head is Bruno Mars. Like seriously, like that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, knowing your hair type is important. Number one, that's when we start. Like the back of my hair, it's like four A, and then the top is three uh, C. So you just need to know your hair type. So you can really know and what type of hair you have, what type of porosity, low porosity, high porosity, normal, whatever, whatever. That all goes into your hair care. Like I my hair loves moisture. Like my hair loves water for real. Drinking water. And like when I'm doing like my washing goes and stuff, I have to put a lot, a lot, a lot of water in my hair. Like I think I can put literally a dom size. You know, I never do, but water is the most important my hair barely care about products it'd be like where's the water sis where is it um so that's the most important part and then um i just want to say like it's cool to gradually cut your hair like i never did a big chop i never i never did any of that like when people be like i'm just gonna cut all my hair off whatever whatever now i did cut my hair like a nice little bit but it was just like it's hair like my hair is probably like right here and i would cut it up to here and i have pictures of that like i was just like okay we're gonna do this and i definitely help my hair curly hair of course and then like my front because i would flatter my hair so much like it would be like in the morning time i was so energetic at school it was just like in the morning my hair be straight by the time i get to first period i swear i swear 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 because i was gonna say something else but I really promise my hair looked like I had just blow dried it by the time I got the first period. And I would just be like, girl, like, what what are you doing from the time you get, walk out the house, get on the bus, get to school, get breakfast, whatever, whatever. It go to first period. Like, how? How? But because of that, I would flat iron my hair every day. Like, I would just be like, whatever. I'm going to just flat iron it, wrap it, whatever, whatever. And I would just follow that cycle. And then it was like, I would wash my hair and I would flat iron again. Like, I was just so addicted to the flat iron. And then one day, my mom did a twist out on my hair. I'm like, okay, hold up, baby. What is this? So I ended up really like, my the back of my hair was like so defined and pretty and everything that it needed to be. What really helped me most during this time, I would do a lot of protective styles. That's when I really started doing my own hair, for real. Like, I would do protective styles, and I would do braid outs all the time, twist outs. I would try bands. I tried every single natural hairstyle there ever was, like, in high school. Because I'm like, we're going to get this. Like, we're going to get this. By the time I graduated, my hair was really where I needed it to be. And once I focused on, once I, like, focused on getting my curls, I started focusing on my hair growth. And that right there is something different. So like oils, figure out what oil, because you don't want dry hair, you know what I'm saying? And it's so important to put oil on your ends. Like a lot of times people think it's unnecessary, but it really is. Like just to seal your, your ends of your hair, because it's not just your scalp that needs moisture. And, you know, just, it's not just your scalp, your your hair, your hair needs it too. So 
I just want to throw that part out there. So if you're doing your wash and go, even if it's just at the end of your wash and go, just put a little bit of oil, like scrunch it in there. You know what I'm saying? I will show y'all some products that I personally like for my hair that it works for me. So I'm going to share it with you guys. You know, I said they don't work for everybody, but I'm going to show you what works for you. So they're really good for your hair, your scalp, your skin. You can use it on everything. Yeah, I'm going to just get into that. But I'm going to go ahead and transition over to hair growth. So I first, like, I would put a lot of oil in my hair, like so much oil. Like I try to tell people, like, you don't need oil in your hair every single day. Like, first of all, your hair produces oil on its own. So you don't need too much oil. Like I tell people, like if you can, like put oil in your hair like twice a week, just because like if you want to put some growth oil or something in like that. But to pack your scalp with oil, you don't need to do that because if you do too much, like some oils really just sit on your scalp. Like literally, like this is your scalp, and it's literally just like building up on your scalp. You don't want that because at that point your hair can't grow. Your hair follicles literally will not be able to grow because that hair that oil is just sitting on your scalp so too much oil is not good you know what i'm saying so you just have to make sure you pay attention to that and then just moisturizing your hair like if your hair is in a protective style get a conditioning spray a moisturizing spray honey if you make your own like that i made my own and that really helped me like honey make it happen and just like make sure you're always moisturizing your hair always 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 and then avocado oil like avocado oil is really what like changed the game for me like <sighs> avocado oil really makes your hair grow like it's crazy and it moisturizes it so much um castor oil you know castor oil and then there's all the natural oils and stuff like that um like the essential oils so that's good and then i'm telling you like when you when you treat your body right like if you eat right and you drink water like all the time like i promise you your body will begin to show that your hair your nails your skin like everything i promise you if you drink your water how you should you will see the outcomes i promise um vitamins you know i used to take biotin and a lot of people say the biotin makes them break out i would talk to your doctor before you take that because i don't want you to be like oh destiny told me to take biotin i didn't break me out so before you take that, talk to your uh, doctor. But there are vitamins that's literally just like woman's gummies, uh, hair, skin, and nails. Stuff like that. So I would recommend taking one of those if you can. Uh, and then like I I also do like a no heat challenge a lot. Like I'll do like no flat iron, no blow dryer. Sometimes it ain't worth it, but <laughs> it's definitely working. Like I would say like this time I think I've been, my two years is up in July, but my hair has gotten like so much thicker like it's so crazy like i'm so grateful for it but it's like my hair is so thick because i have not put any any heat on it like when i tell you like i have to wash my hair section it detangle it put this water bottle down um just to get it dry like i'll have to do that two three days before i go get my hair done because my hair takes a long time to dry so It'd be that, but it's definitely worth it. Like, it definitely is worth it. But baby, 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 baby. I just want to say that always remember to be yourself. Like, you are literally, like, uniquely made. Like, there is only one of you. Seriously, like, down to literally every strand on your head. So just make sure that you're being yourself. No matter what, like, I don't care who comes to your life, who leave your life, who say something, who don't, always be yourself. Like, I don't care. Like, be who you are. And I promise you, when I tell you, your life will be so much better when you stop trying to fit in and do what other people are doing and whatever the case may be, I promise you. But I do want to say, the hair care journey, any type of journey you want to go on as far as hair, it's worth it. Like, it really is. But just make sure that you do your research, you take care of your hair, you wrap your hair up no matter what. Get a silk pillowcase, like stop using towels. Yes, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this video. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you want to see more of on my channel. Thank you for watching.